Hello, this is Yuri. Today I would like to speak about module services views and its new feature that might be very interesting for you. So briefly services module is the module to expose some APIs of your Drupal website to some other applications. And uh, one of the things that is not very convenient that we don't have much possibility to have some settings in UI. And uh, with model services views, we can give other applications to retrieve some data from our site and to have possibility to configure what fields they retrieve, some filters, arguments, and so forth. So um, what this is the page of services views project. And what we will be talking about is the second feature. So the main idea after enabling this module and having services views views UI that you will have a new possibility to create a services display on the views and basically you can add some fields and then this is exactly what services will expose when people will do get request to some URL that you will set up about the settings uh, when we have a services display we can set the name of the resource that will be created for services so after i have created this display uh, and the name of this display is articles in the services resources i will see that my new resource articles has been created and I have index method that expose the data from execution of the view article and this is how it works in the live so the rest is the name of my endpoint articles is the name of this resource index method so when I did the call I received some nodes of the are, uh, that are node type article and these are the fields that I have added and if I would like to change something for example I want to add let's say published or uh, date when this node has been created uh, in the settings what we can nicely override here is the key of the value so I would like this data be shown in the field that has the key created. So I have now this timestamp in the created field and when I save it and do another call, you can see that this field appeared here. And uh, if you want to change anything, like if you want to have title and I want to have it like my title, you can see immediately that it's changed in preview. And when we save it, we can see that the key has been changed as well. Um, Another thing that you will find quite interesting is how we can add some arguments. So uh, for view, we should create exposed filters. For this uh, example, I have created exposed filter of the taxonomy tags attached to articles. And uh, as you can see oh, in the settings, what is very important here, that we expose this filter and then in the more field set this field identify is exactly the name of the argument that views expect for this filter so uh, when we have this argument passed it gets passed to the view and then it will be executed with this filter so for example this is setting for tag with id number eight and for example i remove it and we can see that results were changed um, another very important thing that sometimes you will not have 
the values that you expect to be there when you add some fields and uh, for example if you want to have list of the tags like I did here like this one you will need to still add some PHP code but for this you have views PHP module that gives possibility to add fields with PHP code and this is how it works uh, for this particular case we node uh, we load the node of every result we grab all the tags and uh, load all the tags and then grab all the term names and then just return them so with this php code you can do anything you like you can change for example timestamp of created to some nice format you can add any fields some maybe calculations maybe even some fields they don't have views field handlers anything you like i think uh, that's it thank you for watching if you have any questions you're welcome to post issues to services views um, i have released better release for you to test and hope you enjoyed this video thank you